new boys Exeter Chiefs have silenced the doubters who predicted a swift return to the championship. Northampton, Leicester and Saracens are scrapping it out for top spot. London Irish are struggling to recapture their early season form. Wasps, Gloucester and Harlequins are nestled nicely mid-table. Bath have slightly lost their way and Newcastle and Leeds are fighting like mad to avoid relegation. We give you the inside track on your club. Welcome to Behind the Badge. London Wasps made history when they took their Round 3 LV Cup match out to the Middle East two weeks ago. I caught up with Director of Rugby Tony Hanks out in Abu Dhabi to find out how and why the fixture took place. The timing was right for the club. Uh, come out here, you know, Wasp brand is a big brand, so it's an opportunity to grow that. But, you know, rugby over here is starting to grow as well, and if we can, I suppose, play our part in helping grow rugby here, then that's a bonus as well. Despite the luxurious surroundings, the team were put through their paces in training in preparation for the match. Some of the more mature players showed that bravery on the pitch doesn't always transfer away from rugby. The unease continued, however, as Wasps failed to record a victory. Harlequins, on the other hand, returned from Abu Dhabi victorious. The dictionary definition of a Harlequin is a conventional clown or buffoon. And as we found out when we went to a team building session with the Harlequins, stand up comedy isn't suited to everyone. Shotted up to the bar. And guess what the barman said to me? No, he didn't say why the long face. He asked me why I wanted to drink. Rude. Ultimately, guys you think who may be a bit timid, who may be a bit quiet, and who essentially wouldn't ever do anything like this in their life will step up and then you'll you realise that on the pitch they'll do exactly the same. Where do you feel, sir? <laughs> oh, no, here. Here? No, no, down, down. Here? No. Here? Yeah, yeah, there, 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 there. Ah, yeah, yeah. It was your uncle. No, no, my uncle is in Argentina. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. No sleepless nights for Michael McIntyre there, I think. So Wasps are back on familiar home soil for this weekend. We're back in front of our own fans, who uh, I think we've only lost once in front of this year. And, uh, but we're under no illusions the size of the challenge because you know, Gloucester and Brown fire at the moment. Now Wasps' success over recent years and the, their ability to push into the, into the playoff places come the end of the season has always been built on a basis of, of experience, a lot of experienced players. You've lost a lot of experience this season. You've got guys who are on international duty and of course you've lost Phil Vickery and Tom Reese. Yeah. Tom Reese just for the season, Phil Vickery completely. Yeah. How does the team cope with losses like that? Well, it's very difficult, you know, it's, you can't play them at all. And obviously you've got to add John Hurt to that list. So it has been a difficult season. Chess, of course, a game of strategy and skill. No surprise that it's a game I have never mastered. Trevor Woodman, I'm sure this is a game you know inside out. Oh, definitely base. It's uh, something that I would tend to go down to the local chess club probably on a regular basis. Tough times halfway through the season, injuries creeping in, but also things not going particularly well for Wasps at the moment. Important to get the wins coming again, isn't it? We had a, probably a very good spell up until about Boxing Day. And then from that uh, period onwards, we've, uh, we've probably let ourselves down and it's, uh, it's probably been more mentally than anything. What about Gloucester, who, when you look at their team, who's the man that you, you would worry about? Well, it'd have to come back down to an old, old mate of mine in Simpson Daniel, to be honest. He's scoring a lot of tries, but he, you know he's a threat from, from anywhere on the field. Two moves, but I reckon I'm three moves away from finishing the order. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks very much indeed. Pleasure. Enjoy the game. Thanks. We'll uh, we'll ignore this one, and while we push this one just to the side and forget how useless I am at chess, we'll take a look now at the rest of the fixtures in this week's Aviva Premiership. On Friday night, Sale take on Bath at Edgeley Park, and then on Saturday, Exeter look to continue their excellent season against Harlequins, Northampton Saints face Saracens at Franklin's Garden. Leeds will look to get some points against Leicester Tigers. I can't see that happening. And then London Irish, desperate for a win, take on Newcastle at the Medeski Stadium. And then on Sunday, as we've discussed, Wasps take on Gloucester. So the resumption of the Viva Premiership sees some tantalising fixtures and some must-win games, not least for this lot, the London Wasps. Thank you for watching. Behind the badge. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.